My trip to CES in Las Vegas was sponsored by LDO. Hey, Jason, how you doing? Yeah, Vegas. I'm, of course, at CES, and I found the Creality booth. They've got the K2 Plus. They also have the Creality High, and they've got a K1C that can connect to the CFS now. And I might even get to look at a scanner. So let's go take a look. The K2 Plus is huge. Creality had two of the CFS units hooked up to demo and was printing someone's head. You can see it and the color selection on the printer screen. They also ran a Vegas themed promotion for the K2 Plus. People could bring in an old printer to trade in, then roll the huge inflatable dice to determine a discount. I rolled one of the dice. Pooch was able to roll all three. That discount is great as the retail price for the K2 Plus combo is 1,499 smackaroos. Those trade-in printers were near the new Ender 5 Max, a 400 millimeter cubed massive machine. Its day was spent printing these funny looking rainbow hats. So that rainbow hat making machine will set you back $769 reduce. Creality was showing the K1C with a CFS connected. Looks like it's a software update and a small piece of hardware added to the back. It was printing some cute models and the print quality was decent. It's nice to see Creality bringing multi-color printing to a previously released machine. Next was the Creality High Combo, a machine that looks to be a direct competitor to the Bamboo Lab A1. It has a decent 260 by 260 by 300 build volume and uses the CFS to do multi-color 3D printing. The printer poop purges to the left, just like the Bamboo Lab A1, and I was impressed with the print quality of the demo models on display. In fact, all of the demo prints looked really great. The Steve Jobs Hue Forge was nice, the flowers definitely looked like something I would want to print, and I used a dinosaur to frighten a human. Hey Pooch! Arr. The retail price on the Creality High is $349, and if you want the combo to get that sweet CFS, it'll set you back $499. One thing that surprised me was the Otter Scanner. She was scanning a small owl toy on a manual turntable. Oh, it's using just natural light? Structured light. Structured light. She wasn't being slow about it at all, and the rest of the scan was good. Whoa! Wait, you did that in seconds! I got to see a print of the scan, which was also good. Color. Like it's smooth. Plus the Otter captured the color information. So I could do full color 3D printing as well. So then like I have a Mimaki 3D printer. Yeah. So I could print this in full color from the scan. Yeah. Have a color printer. <laughs> wow. This was done in seconds. You didn't, you, you weren't careful about it. You just put it on the turntable, you spun it like crazy, yeah. and then you were scanning it. Uh, plus it, it was just using the light that was available and it still captured all of the detail. It can even scan metal and black colored objects without the need of a scanning spray. The Otter from Curiality retails for 899 bucks. It was suggested I get scanned and Pooch did the scanning. I tried to stand really, really still and the result was surprisingly good. Hey, look at that. Like Honestly, the color information is- I think is... you could get actually a good Mamaki print off of one of these. Yeah. I did move my face a bit, so they rescanned just my face and were able to place that scan on the previous scan. How cool is that? What do you think, Joel? Was that easy? It, it's shocking how easy it was. Scanning to me and what I've done before, it was years ago, but it was very slow and it was very specific in the light source and it was you had to spray things down with a powder. And this, you're just like, plop, 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 and then it was done. Once the scan is done and you can see yourself in full color, it's just friggin' weird. Well, that was actually really cool and surprising. The, the, the Crowley High looks kind of neat. It looks like an A1 competitor. Um, if I ever get one, I'll be sure to give it a try. K1C can now take the CFS, which is kind of neat. K2 Plus really looks good with those two CFS right above it. But the scanner, that Otter scanner, that is surprising. I'm really not versed in scanning. And so it's really cool to see how far the tech has come and how much easier it is in order to, to scan things. So I don't know, that was fun. Links will be down below and uh, I'm gonna go see more cool stuff.